If you're looking to make your own gifts, etching glass is actually quite simple. And it's much cheaper when you do it yourself than buying a custom one online. With one bottle of Armor Etch, you can make quite a lot. And if you have a Cricut, the design possibilities are endless. Now you can etch most types of glass. However, Armor Etch doesn't always work well with Crystal and Pyrex, so I'd recommend staying away from those. To make choosing the right glass easier, the Dollar Tree has affordable beer mugs, Pilsner, and pint glasses that work perfectly with the etching cream. So once you grab a few of those, wash them thoroughly with dish soap. For all the other supplies we'll be using, check the description below. And when you have everything to etch your beer mugs and glasses, the next thing we'll need to do is create the stencil that the etching cream goes on. So let's get cracking. We're going to use our Cricut to cut the stencils. Open up Cricut Design Space and create a new project. From here, you can either use Cricut's fonts and graphics or upload your own designs. We made ours in Photoshop, so we're going to click Upload Images. Once your designs are uploaded, select them and hit Add to Canvas. Our designs are obviously way too big for our glasses, so we'll need to resize them. To help visualize the size you're thinking of making your design, you can always use measuring tape on the glass. After you resize them and you see how all the elements look together, you can tweak the sizes again as needed. Once you're done, click Make Project. For this next part, we'll need to set up our Cricut. If it's not already installed, switch out your blade for the fine point one. That's usually the go-to for vinyl. Make sure to turn the material knob to vinyl too. For our stencil, we're going to use Cricut's permanent vinyl. We're using white, but it doesn't matter what color you use. Line up the vinyl with the standard grip cutting mat's corners and edges. The shiny side should be up. If there's bubbles, use a Cricut scraper to flatten the vinyl on the mat. Then load the mat. Back in the Cricut design space, we'll need to make sure our settings match. We're using a 12 by 24 Cricut mat, so we'll change our mat size to that. Also, our designs are all over the place, so we'll need to reposition them before cutting. After you're done setting up how you want your designs to look, hit the Cricut button to cut out your stencils. Once it's done cutting, unload the mat. To prevent curling the vinyl, put the mat face down on the table and peel the mat away from the vinyl. Using a weeding tool, remove the inner parts of the stencil that were cut out. Before cutting out each separate design, make sure to leave enough room around all of the edges. That way you'll cover a lot of the glass and prevent etching cream from going anywhere but on your stencils. Next, we're going to set up the stencil for the glass. Cut out a piece of Cricut transfer tape that's the same size as your stencil. Removing the liner, stick the transfer tape on top of your stencil. If there's any bubbles, use the scraper to flatten them out. Then, carefully and slowly peel the vinyl away. It's best to do this at a 45 degree angle to help keep the stencil's pieces intact. Before placing the stencil onto your glass, double check that it's free of dust and dirt. What I like to do is put some rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball and wipe the surface where I'll be sticking the stencil. After you're done cleaning the glass, carefully place the stencil onto it. You want to make sure that the inner edges of your stencil are completely flat with the glass. Use the scraper to burnish it and to eliminate any remaining bubbles. Once you're finished with that, peel the transfer tape off. Next, we'll be applying the Armor Etch etching cream to the stencil. For the best results, make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room that's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Before handling the etching cream, be sure to wear plastic gloves because the cream can really irritate your skin. To mix the etching cream thoroughly, use a popsicle stick to stir it. Then, apply big and even globs of edging cream on top of the open areas of your stencil. Instead of brushing it on, I recommend dabbing it on. That makes it much easier to spread evenly without thinning it out. 
When all of the etching cream is applied to your stencil, let it sit for three minutes, or for however long your etching cream says to. Then, using the same popsicle stick from before, scrape the excess etching cream off. It's reusable, so you can put it back into the bottle. Once you get most of it off, run it under cold water to clear off the remaining etching cream. Peel off the vinyl and rinse the glass again. Now all you have to do is take a paper towel and dry off your glasses. And as far as cleaning them goes, you can hand wash them or even stick them in the dishwasher. If this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking for more arts and crafts how-tos or to learn something entirely different, be sure to check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next project might be right here. Well, I gotta clean off some more glasses so I can put some stencils on them. So I'll catch you guys later.